Lokeka Community Development Center, an NGO recently empowered women from Ogoni's land oil bearing community in the Niger Delta region at Ogoni Women Environmental Assembly in Bori River State. Over 200 women learned about demanding justice for climate change, oil, multinational divestment, environmental pollution, and food scarcity challenges. The assembly aimed to raise awareness and build capacity among rural women. Marta Agbani, executive director of Lokeaka Community Development Center, emphasized that crude oil po pollution has severely affected food production in Ogoni land. This initiative is crucial in amplifying the voice of rural women and promoting sustainable development in the region. Despite the fact that um Mossop and other Ogoni people stopped oil exploration in Ogoni land. Oil was still going on, but today we are told those that came into Ogoni land through the back doors to extract oil are leaving the environment without the knowledge of the people and leaving them in their mess, leaving them in the conditions that they never created. The environment is highly degraded. Women can no longer talk about food security. They can't even talk about having quality food production or even what they can eat. You go to the, the swamp forest area, they don't even have where they can act their living from. And these are areas that women normally act a living from. Picking up periwinkles, like we talk, those monlooks, those clams, they don't have them anymore. And those that cause this are leaving the environment without any compensation or a recourse to the people. So we are guiding them to also conscientize them to know that these people are leaving the environment. What do they have to say? Are their hopes actually bleak? Do they have a bleak feature? What is it that they need to know? And how are they going to go about it? We don't need to set a pace for them, but they need to take their own stories, their own challenges into their hand, their faith in their hand, and push towards how they can come out of this. According to Mata Agbani, the training aimed to enhance women's negotiation, leadership, and communication skills, enabling them to be effective articulately effectively act to collect their concerns and demand actions for authorities on pressing issues like devisement and climate change. This training empowered Ogoni women to become advocates for change, equipping them to drive positive impact in their communities. The pollution that we have gotten have caused a lot of hazard in Kedere community. Many places have been having oil spillage, of which we cannot plant our crop where if we plant you use fertilizer and even as that our crop is not yielding as before so this may cause to have lack of uh, uh, production the herdsmen that are in our community in my own community Luswe Sogo in Kana LGA is, is, they are so terrible that we, our women, we are not safe in the farm. When we go to farm, the moment they destroy our cassava and you make noise or you just open your mouth to tell them that they destroy your cassava, they will want to kill you in the farm. They are raping our girls anyhow. When they destroy our farm crops and we went to the police, the police invited the main man that is caring for the, their cows. And the man came, prizing a whole plot of land, cassava plot, uh, in, in two plots or on a two plot of land. He is prizing 30,000 naira. 30,000 naira is money for just two basins of Gary this period because Gary is too expensive in our community now. So the herdsmen, even as they paid the money, the man that brought them even collected the money into his own account and refused to give the people that owns the cassava that is being destroyed. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.